מצאו אותי למוות. ישבתי על כיסא חשמל, נפרדתי מהפרייבט. לו יכולתי לפחות להחליף את הכיסאות. מי אומרים בדרך כלל משנה מקום, משנה מה זה. אני שואל עבד בדואר, היה מחלק את המכתבים, קיבל אפילו תואר. יום אחד פקח הבחין שאסף גם מכתבים, והג'וב מיד פוטר, כי יש סוף לכל דבר. היי יויה, אני שואל, היי יויה, אתם עונים, היי יויה, האם זה פייר, היי יויה, אתם לא יודעים. בטלן שהתעצל לנוח, היה הולך לנמלה, חוזר בלי מצב רוח. לו היה פחות טיפש, אז ודאי ידע שיש גם תוספת לפתגם, ראה את רחי אבך אחר. אני שואל, אתם עונים, האם זה פייר? אתם לא יודעים. סוף סוף לים, תוך שניות הוא נעלם, שניים קפצו אליו מיד, טובעים השניים מן האחד. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats, our program is beginning now. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the stage. So, uh, Andy, be, Andy, before we turn on the microphones and start the program, I just want to catch up quickly. You know, I'm kind of a data guy, and I care about facts and figures. The venue is really fabulous. The candles are a great touch. But <laughs> did we have to pay for all these things? No, Mike. The candles were included, but we did go all out on the hand sanitizer. Uh, and how about the fundraising for the gala? Did we meet our goal? Actually, Mike, we didn't meet our goal. Ooh, that's a problem. Should we make it a cash bar tonight? The Texans are here. <laughs> Hang on, Mike. We didn't meet our goal. We exceeded our goal. Ah. <laughs> our goal was 500,000, and we're going into tonight's gala having raised over 600,000 already. Are, th are those do dollars or shekels? Those are dollars. Mike. Dollars, dollars. Okay, good. And the night is still young. Okay. So my name is David Feller. I grew up on the... I know a number of you folks, but I look forward to meeting more of you. I grew up on the Young Judea train route via Sprout Lake, Tel Yehuda, Machon in Israel, and then your course in 1999-2000, where I had such a positive experience that under the guise of Madrich, I was able to do it again a few years later. It was that repeat journey to Israel in 2004 
where my co madracha Roni became my future wife. Yet, yet another lifelong gift this movement handed me on a silver platter. And now, 20 years later, 20 some odd years later, I see in my daughter's facial expressions and pure excitement as we drop them off at Sprout Lake, where they are beginning this special journey of their own. I know this is no unique story, however, especially in front of this crowd, but I imagine we all agree that this door le door magic never gets old, and in fact, is what brings us all here together tonight. Please know that 50 years after attending my first club meeting in San Juan, Puerto Rico, I remain in awe of all that Young Judea has given me and how it shaped my life and the life of those I love. Fanny, our first Judean from Puerto Rico to attend TY in the Air Course, you opened the gates for thousands of kids. from our enchanted island to join a journey that gave our personal Judaism a new meaning, enriched the Jewish community of Puerto Rico, and placed Israel passionately in our hearts. Good evening, Erev Tov. Over the past year, I have had the extraordinary privilege of working with a dream team. Joining Young Judea in the midst of a pandemic, well, Let's just say there's never been a dull moment. As Jewish communal professionals, it is essential to be quick on our feet, continuously adapting to the changing needs of our campers and broader Young Judea community. In 2020, when challenges arose that no one could have anticipated, the practice of being adaptable became more critical than ever. But what has been most incredible is watching our teams work together to support one another in this unprecedented time. When it became clear that our camps could not open and our Summer Israel programs wouldn't run for summer 2020, we quickly pivoted. Camp staff developed engaging virtual programming that would keep campers connected during a time of great isolation. They worked tirelessly to make sure they would be a source of comfort to campers. A virtual home and an unchanged constant during a very uncertain time. And through this, the camp directors met regularly to support one another. Another unexpected outcome of the pandemic was a windfall for year course 2021. Israel staff mobilized quickly to usher in a record year course of 225 participants. Walter, at eight years old, he started at CJ as a camper, and he began his Judean journey. He went to TY, he went on year course, and he was a staff member. Then he graduated college, and what did he do? He came to work for Young Judea. He became a regional director, 
And then an opening opened up in CJ, North Carolina. There's a live body there at 25 years old. He became the director. <laughs> and uh, after four years, he left to uh, go to what was, you know, one of the largest uh, camp movements, uh, the New Jersey Y Camp to Cedar Lake, spent 14 years there. And then uh, after that, seven years at Camp Mackinac. Now, if you translate that in Hebrew, it means uh, what a camp. <laughs> so anyways, and then, uh, but the good news is we got him back. He came back to CJ for four years. Now, I'm only sharing his tenure as a reference to the dedication towards Jewish camp. If you think about it, Walter graduated college and he's dedicated his life to Jewish education, Israel, and Jewish peoplehood. That's all he's done since he's graduated. And I'll share with you, and this is true, and I know all my colleagues would agree with this, that, in, that there is no one that hustles more than Walter um, in recruiting campers. Um, thank you very much. This is beautiful and um, unexpected and beautiful. And um, to me, Young Judea has brought me so much joy and um, to me and to all of us, it made such a world difference and my goal was to make a difference for the next generation and next generation. And uh, let's move forward together and toda, toda, this is very special. Toda raba. Annie Zacharias Corman. I am Roger Corman. We're the Corman. I've been involved in Young Judea since my brother held his club meetings in our basement, which is 1961. And I've been involved with Young Judea for 52 years. Hi, I'm Allison Goldberg. I've been a part of Young Judea um, as far as I can remember. We met in front of the Hadarochel at Tel Yehuda. We know the exact spot. <laughs> I met my husband when I was probably 12 or 13 years old, and we started dating when I was at TY. I'm 15 years old. You know, the opportunity to meet when we were young, have critical touch points through our different stages of development were important because we have those shared experiences. I'm really grateful to you and Judea for the relationships it fosters, both my friendship, my marriage. It infused joy into living as Jews and in having a dialogue about Israel. And I felt that this is something that I would want my children to experience. I would also say that Young Judea fostered a big passion of mine for social change. Young Judea helped facilitate the importance of Tikkun Olam in my life and finding ways to explore how we can make that a reality in really diverse communities that need it around the world. The phrase, you and I will change the world, was like a heartbeat to me and my friends. Sorry, <laughs> I'm having like this flood of memories. We were so passionate and committed. The fact that our, grand, our eldest granddaughter started Sprout Lake this summer makes it three generations, us, our children, our grandchildren. It's just uh, very fulfilling and satisfying. It's wonderful. I think it's a big honor to be getting this award from Young Judea. I hope that some of the fundamental values that Young Judea has instilled in me will continue. The importance of tikkun olam, the importance of friendship, the importance of being true to yourself. I hope Young Judea will continue to foster that as well as continue to grow a generation of open-minded, thoughtful, kind, and generous individuals. It is absolutely awesome to be here to present the Bonim Award to this amazing woman, Allison Goldberg. So, like many, my tenure in Young Judea for the next decade consisted of camp, summer camp experiences. CYJ Midwest and TY, year-round clubs, conventions, Mosque root positions, Mahon in Israel, year course, and even since as a camp counselor, and the exclusive opportunity to be part of the maintenance staff at TY. <laughs> so in seriousness, 
you know, what did this tenure in Young Judea provide? I got the things that are most precious to me in life. First, I got my family. Like, <laughs> like many of you in the room, many of you have spoken today, you know, this is not a unique story, but I met my husband, David Post, when I was 12 years old at CYJ Midwest, and we've been together 23 years. <laughs> And it's very possible if we hadn't been in Young Judea, we would never have met in life. So I'm just so grateful for that. Second, I got my friendships. And, you know, these aren't just friendships. These are deep, lifelong connections and relationships, people that I would do anything for and people that I know would do anything for me. That's what Young Judea has given me. And third, I think many of us have talked about this, I got strong values and strong training. I have to say I am humbled and honored this evening. It was unexpected and a bit perplexing as we follow some very distinguished honorees from previous years. And how does one live up to that? Well, we keep working hard to ensure that there is a Judean future for our children and our grandchildren. That's how we do it, and we all do it together. I'm not sure there's a more important work to be done. This is the legacy that we want to pass on to future generations. I was granted a surprise scholarship by Hadassah in 1969, and it is truly the gift that keeps on giving a gift that shifted the world on its axis for me and sent me on a course that it would impact my family and an entire community in Puerto Rico even 51 years later. If you are blessed to be the parent of a young Sudan teenager, you live their vitality every day, uh, their passion to find their roads of self-fulfillment against the headwinds of social discord and peer pressure that no generation has ever faced before. The highest value of camp is to train leaders, as witnessed by everyone in this room. Talking to the kids just knocks you over because of their passion to lead, to change the world. It's this power of community. Roger talked about a few moments ago. It's this power of community that brought us through this storm and to this moment. It is also the same spirit that led thousands of you, alumni, friends, parents, chanichim, staff, foundations, to make sure we survived and thrived through these difficult times. And Benny Rogers' leadership of TY is fueled by love of shared history, 325 Chanichim arrived at TY on June 23rd, and there is only one word. And I'll ask the kids this over at the side over here, guys. Hope you're listening. I want to make sure I'm right about this. If I could describe, tell you who to this past summer, and I'm sure I speak for all of our camps. In one word, if I could describe it in one word, it would be joy. Not happiness, but joy. I'm 
Each and every one of you here tonight is making a direct impact on the lives of hundreds, if not thousands, of kids and teenagers. When I see a young Judea of the future, I see a young Judea of today, a young Judea of programs like Year Course. When I see a young Judea of the future, I see a young Judea of the past, a young Judea who embraced a little seven-year-old from Pittsburgh, who arrived at CYJ Midwest so nervous he climbed up a 20-foot tree by the Gaga pit and wouldn't come down for hours and transformed him into the person speaking in front of all of you tonight. A young Judea. A young Judea that had such an impact on so many of the rising seniors in its movement that when universities and colleges asked them to write about their best qualities and biggest transformations, more than half chose to write about how much YJ meant to them. Despite almost two years of pandemic, Across the movement, we have reached 2,500 chanichim in our summer camps, 350 in our Israel programs, 700 in our year-round programming, and over 1,000 Hebrew Young Judea in our alumni events. As a 112-year-old startup, we are actively reimagining what it means to be a North American Zionist pluralistic youth movement in 2021. This year, Young Judea has been able to provide life-changing experiences to thousands of children, teens, and young adults, thanks to the generosity of supporters like you. I grew up in a YJ family. It's really important to me to continue that, and I think it builds an even stronger community for future generations, knowing that they're the third, fourth, fifth generation sometimes in Young Judea. That really says something about the community that you build. This year, we had fun at Sprout Lake. I really liked the forum party where there was a bunch of floats. I liked to go. That was really fun because we had a bunch of dances and stuff. After I'm done with the camp, I want to go to another camp called TY, and then I'm going to be a counselor in camp. I never went to a Jewish day school. CYJ Texas and camp and TY is the place I get to be Jewish and with a community of, of Jewish people that I love to go to services with and observe Shabbat with. And um, it's something very unique that Young Judea gives me. Well, one thing I love the most about Young Judea is that it's not a youth movement for one specific sect of Judaism. It's specifically Zionist. And I think that not only is really nice in terms of learning more about other kinds of Judaism, it, it focuses on all aspects of it, which allows us to learn more about it and to become more aware of our Zionism and maybe more like grounded in it. I think that the current generation of young Judeans is so, so special. My campers this summer just continue to amaze me. They amaze me every day, just to see the kind of people that they are and the kind of people that they're becoming. Being a part of that, that's what keeps me coming back, and that's what really makes Young Judea what it is.